Well, the other the other model that seems to be uh, 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 well, there's a couple of things that are going on. There's the deal that um, the Eagles just made with um, uh, Walmart, I believe. They made a deal whereby they would sell X amount of product to Walmart directly as our exclusive distributor. And they, they pocketed a lot of money. According to the trades, I'll read you what it says to the trades. Uh, it says here that, uh, um, let me read it here. It says that uh, the band sold the chain, that's the Walmart chain, 3 million albums up front for a figure to be north of $20 million. Uh, so they went directly to Walmart. Uh, there are other places you can do that with. Uh, uh, we just made a deal for a, a major artist with uh, what's a company called Starcon, uh, which Starcon is a is a uh, partnership of uh, uh, Concord Records and Starbucks, uh, and we made a one-off deal with them, and they pay X amount of dollars. Uh, and they uh, pay, and they distribute X amount of product through Starbucks in addition to uh, Concord distributing the product. So that's another type of thing. In other words, that's different. That's not the standard record company deal. Uh, another one is the uh, one that this other act, in fact, I just read about that today. Uh, no, I read about it some time ago, which was the one that Radiohead did, uh, which they put the product out there and say to their fans, Pay us what you think it's worth. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how that's worked out. Uh, maybe it's worked out. And then there's what Prince did, which was uh, he gave away uh, uh, his album with a, a ticket to his concert. So everybody's searching. Uh, everybody's searching for the for the new method, the new uh, way to do business. But I haven't found any one direction at all. These are all different people trying different experiments to find out where the industry might go. Uh, will one of these become the new model uh, that most of the industry adapts? I'm not sure.